this day make it. Uh, Nick, we find you at a church, but uh, we're not here for service. Uh, we're no, here no. To, to review. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm here to worship for Review the World. <laughs> hey. But, you know, that's something else altogether. We got Warhead's Sour Jelly Beans. Now, over the, over the years, we've dabbled in some sour candies. We have. And I've never even been that big of a sour candy person. But Which might say, be a reason why I keep doing this to you. <laughs> but none of them have really done anything bad to me. Most of them actually have been kind of shockingly not that sour. But I'm gonna go ahead and crack these open and see what now, we got. Now these are from Warheads, yeah, which, which we, we know from our youth. Oh, look at the bag, hello. And we reviewed Warhead Sour Candy Cubes uh, a while ago. Yeah, it was a rainy day. Yeah, turned out to be really good. Like, there was nothing sour about They were them. good, but not, not, not too sour. Now, these are jelly beans, and there's six different flavors. Yeah, in fact... Uh, in fact, yeah, let me take a look at the well, box as you... Made in ahead. Brazil, that's kind of odd. Go ahead and pick out your flavors, Nick, and as you do that... Uh, I'm going to go uh, with blue. Uh, go ahead and grab one of each of the six, and um, I'm just getting a quick shot of the box art. Orange, watermelon, lemon, blue raspberry, cherry, and green apple. And that face, it says it all. You can see I got these for a buck. On the chart, there's four. This is a ranked a two out of a four, Nick. This is considered sour. Not super sour or extreme, mind you. Uh, do we have all six? Is this? I think so. That's like a pink and a red there? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind, of, it's kind okay. of hard to tell with some of those. No, you got it. All right. So uh, if you want, I'll take a... Uh, uh, yes, please. Thank you. All right, well, I'm going to go with lemon first, since that's the one. I do like lemon flavors, but in the sour form, it's usually the most, yeah. It should be like a sour lemonade, one would hope. Right off the bat, yeah, it's actually it's really fresh. So that's good, because sometimes gummies can be really stale. It's really good, though. It tastes like lemonade. I mean, just a little tart, but lemonade is tart, so it's really good. Wow. This is, um, what we got here, green apple? Yes. All right. Oh wow, I can already say with number two, online, there's no sour in any of these candies. Really? These are just sprinkled gummy, that grape apple, uh, that green apple is really good. Like really good. Kind of surprisingly. Uh, let's go, what's this blue raspberry here? You got it, that's right, three for three. A blue raspberry, I mean, they're nailing all the flavors. Every one of these are good. Nothing sour about them so far. But every one of these are really good. I'm curious about watermelon. That would be the light pink one? Yes. I'm gonna get a little more chewing going on here. Oh wow. Surprisingly so. One of these favorite flavors so far. Ooh, that's and a mark love, against it. I love watermelon candies and stuff like that. Watermelon gum. You hear the trains? Uh, Hamilton, crisscrossed by train tracks. It's, oh, a, yeah. it's a curse or a blessing if you're into that sort of weird thing. But this one definitely, the watermelon, it definitely tastes like your artificial watermelon. It's very strong in that flavor. Let's go orange here. Uh huh. Oh, wow. I was expecting you might like that one. I feel like I'm drinking an orange crush. Hello. And I also will say that's the first one that actually tasted any bit sour. There was a really? little sour kick to it. Uh, again, other than the lemonade, or the lemon one, but lemon's kind of tart. Last but not least, what we got here is this cherry. It is cherry. All right. I'm going to enjoy this one overlooking beautiful view. Actually, we got a pretty nice view downtown Hamilton from here. So let's go ahead and beautiful backdrop. Yeah, I can see the government building. Oh, wow. Cherry one is also sour. But that one tasted a lot like the little, uh, which they were never sour, but the little cherry sours you used to get. Well, you used to be able to buy them for a penny. Now they're probably like 10 cents. Yeah. But overall, I got to say, it was really fresh. Most of the flavors were really good. Even though, even though watermelon's at the bottom, it was still a good watermelon. I would definitely eat these again. There's nothing, there's nothing really sour about them. So if you're a little, if you're a little nervous about it because you, you're not a big fan of sour, just blow on right past those nerves because they're it's really good. I'm gonna hand them over to Brian. Let him try them. See what he's got to say.
man, that is still surreal to me. My old elementary school, Van Buren, near and dear to my heart, magical place in my lifetime. It's leveled over, it's grass filled now. So Nick, uh, eloquent and, and adventurous, uh, with a plum and a smile, he brought us all six flavors of the Warheads. Uh, it's now my turn. We're taking a little walk through a neighborhood called Van Buren Circle. And I'm going to try uh, all six flavors. Uh, roughly in the same order as Nick, if memory will serve me correctly. He began with lemon. Okay, that was a great way to start. I'm certainly on board. To me, that was like a lemon head, but in chewy form. So I totally like the lemon. It's gonna be hard to top. Let's just say that. Up next, uh, green apple. Green apple uh, ranges more into the sweet category than the sour. Yeah, green apple was it was really good. It might have been my favorite. It is very good. Uh, it didn't feel warheady at all, actually. It, it, I'm a little surprised at how much they they packed in the sweet component. Behind you is a. Oh, thank you. I about walked right into it. Four by four off road. Wow. I don't know, Nick. I just had the blue raspberry, and uh, I can't sing its praises high enough. I really like that one. So far, that and lemonade, or lemon, again, are in the running. Cool little personal factoid or antidote. This little neighborhood, especially this little curve that we're on. This is one of the places that I did the most of my trick-or-treating as a child. So picture me, if you will, dressed up as a robot, or as any number of my adventurous costumes, knocking on these doors, trick-or-treating. That was just last year. <laughs> well, uh, up next, uh, watermelon. I know Nick was not a huge fan. Of the four, the soury powder coating on this, that one had the most. That one definitely gave me the most sour punch. But the watermelon component itself is very kind of subdued. More sour, less flavor on that one. Mm. Orange. Wow. Wow. Nick. Yeah, it, that one pops as soon as you bite into it. You compare that to a uh, an orange crush. Man, I think you nailed it. Uh, it's a three-way tie right now. Uh, I will lay down the gauntlet and, and choose just one here in a moment, but right now, orange, blue, and yellow are fighting for first. Cherry, I don't think you can have a chance, but... Uh, the cherry's really good, though. You might be shocked. Over here on this abandoned house, poor wine as it is, with you know Mountain Dew cans. I feel like Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. I can just fly off. Um, well, I think we found the new headquarters for Review the World. Uh, I'm already paying rent on it, man. We just got to do some um, remodeling, some renovations inside. You're looking at the future home of RTW fans. That's the reason I brought you here. Take a look. But no, I, I want to be for real. My top three in third place, Lemon. Oh, wow. In second place, Blue Thras, <laughs> which means number one. And he came out swinging was Orange. A Warheads, thank you. But also, I'm one that real nasty, super extreme sour Warheads experience. We haven't found it yet. The sour cubes didn't cut it. Uh, the jelly beans were fun. They were snackable, but they didn't get me sour. They didn't get me. I want to make that face that the guy on the box was making. Anyway, Smoke coming out of the top Nick, of the head. I have so much work to do over here. Yeah, I mean, you got to fix that place. window first. Well, you don't even want to see the inside. So I'm going to get around the side of the house and, and go in the back door. I'm setting up a Bluetooth Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get live in here so I can check out all my favorite websites like Veggie Macab, um, Dinosaur Dracula, all of my favorites. All right, man. I got a lot of work to do. Thanks for watching, everybody.